This is a video of what Matthew Gates has to say. Our America is a pro-life nation proudly. Uh, have you watched these pro-abortion, pro-murder rallies? The people are just disgusting. Like, why is it that the women with the least likelihood of getting pregnant are the ones most worried about having abortions? Nobody wants to impregnate you if you look like a thumb. These people are odious on the inside and out. They're like 5'2", 350 pounds, and they're like, give me my abortions or I'll get up and march and protest. And I'm thinking, march? You look like you got ankles weaker than the legal reasoning behind Roe versus Wade. A few of them need to get up and march. They need to get up and march for like an hour a day, swing those arms, get the blood pumping, maybe mix in a salad. Wow. You see this right here? This is your leader. These are the, your leaders, man. <laughs> Matthew Gates, American lawyer, super politician right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy is completely ridiculous. He's a United States representative for Florida's first congressional district. Yeah. Republican. He's been in that position since 2017 now. But listen, man. These individuals... This is what they feel in their mind. And that what he did is that he vocalized what he's thinking about certain individuals. Now, I'm not for or against what people are calling right now body shaming. However, he didn't just body shame a group of individuals. He tried to body shame them and then denigrate their character. You see, you can talk about someone's weight and you can talk about obesity and how it's a problem in America. That makes sense. But when you speak how that guy was speaking, then it comes to a point where you have to ask yourself, who is he speaking to? What is his audience? Who is his audience? Because this guy is a leader in the first congressional district, right? So now... If he a member of the United States House of Representatives from Florida's first district now, he represents Florida and he does it at the highest level because, hey, he's at the House of Representatives. And this is your politician right here. That's your politician, that guy. You got me? When I tell you his words, his behavior is disgraceful on every single level. And this is just humanity, just being a normal human. This is what you say to people, and this is your representative. Okay, Florida, that's your representative? Listen, man, one day, common sense has to prevail when you're dealing with people who are supposed to represent you. 
common sense has to prevail one day. Now, it don't seem like that's going to be today. Now, one thing I can say about Matt Gates is that this individual, he is known for saying the most outlandish, outrageous, craziest choice of words and then speaking as if it's all good. When I tell you these individuals who are politicians, they are the biggest fork-tongued individuals that I have ever seen in my life. But they hold a key position in making decisions that affect your future. And you don't know who they are. You don't know who your councilman is. You don't know who your congressman is. You don't know who in the House of Representatives. If I say bicameral legislature, people don't even know what that is. You got what I'm saying? And what I'm saying right now is not to speak down. Because I understand certain communities. Look, man, when you in the struggle, you don't got no time to be thinking about what they doing at Washington, D.C. Because you in the struggle. But there are a lot of individuals who are not in the struggle. So I hope that you empower yourself with knowledge and start to learn who your councilman is, who your congressman is. And I want you to motivate a younger generation of individuals that look like you to fill those positions. If you don't fill those positions, then what will happen is massively detrimental to you. Because you will always have individuals within those seats that do not represent you on any level. What are you willing to do? Don't blame anyone else. What are you willing to do for your own people? These individuals, they speak negatively about you. They think negatively about you. And they are willing to say anything and do anything to justify the imbalance that happens to individuals like you. You have to do for yourself. No one is going to help you in your communities. These individuals who never come to your communities until they want to vote don't even care about your community. Don't you know that Flint, Michigan, they are still harmed? They are still going through a water crisis. And guess what? It's not in the news anymore. Because no one cares when your community is damaged. What are you willing to do for your community? We have to do for ourselves. No one else is going to do it for us and no one else should do it for us. Because I understand that no one else cares. No one cares. Reminding you. Stay fearless and be a warrior. Shadow Band.